Hey, what is up everybody, Blue Ghost here. Unfortunately, today's video is kind of just more of the story of bad news, but I don't want to burden you all with negative vibes from uh, telling you guys bad news. So I'm going to try my best to keep my attitude positive and encouraging to make sure that you guys don't have any negative vibes from when it comes to this video. Because obviously, as we are right now with Titanfall and Titanfall 2 and whatnot, we're obviously not in a really good space right now. Obviously, we went through the news that Titanfall 1, the original, of course, is being taken away from uh, stores and subscription services like EA Play or anything else. Uh, those, I think, are yet to cease. And it looks as though that Titanfall 1 is now completely unplayable again, meaning that you literally can't even find a single match. Not too entirely sure, but that's like the last time I checked. And the same thing now goes for Titanfall 2, where it's pretty much completely unplayable, at least even on Xbox 2. But um, yeah, it's pretty much just come back to square one, where everything is kind of just like uh, taken down and uh, not playable again. And of course, it is very disheartening for me as somebody who's made a lot of Titanfall 2 content, or even has played since the uh, alpha, that we are now going through this situation five years later. And, you know, obviously it's heartbreaking. I'm heartbroken. I, I'd i still love to, you know, make Titanfall 2 content focus around multiplayer, but I cannot do that anymore. And it's very, uh, very heartbreaking, as I said before. What exactly is this going to mean for me when it comes to Titanfall or just Titanfall 2 in general? So as far, so we do obviously still have Titanfall 2 memes and Titanfall 2 try not to laughs, but I'm not sure if it's exactly going to be appropriate as per se to continue making those videos considering the situation that Titanfall 2 is kind of going in at the moment I will have to see obviously I don't want to stop YouTube just because Titanfall 2 or Titanfall is completely like you know shut down I want to see if I can adapt to other games and see if I can do other things but I don't want to just like obliter but I just don't want to like you know abruptly stop Titanfall 2 just like right there I kind of want to slowly settle down from it moving on to other games and whatnot and seeing where we can go for the channel for there. Because, you know, if I were to just stop the channel right here just because of Titanfall 2, that probably would not be uh, the best case for me at all. I still want to move on with YouTube and I still want to go on with uh, content creation and see where I can go uh, with it. Because there's always endless possibilities when it comes to any game. And Titanfall 2 was obviously like, you know, a big step for it. But as I see it right now, it could be just the end of a chapter for me and my uh, future of content creation and uh, simply moving on to another one. But I don't want to just abruptly stop Titanfall 2 right there. In fact, in fact, I just recently installed the Ice Pick mod, which allows you to pretty much use Titanfall 2 kind of like it's Gary's mod, where you can spawn in any type of uh, NPC or any type of enemy or friendly uh, unit and everything. And I was kind of thinking of doing some goofy stuff with that as we slowly um, come to our end of chapter of what looks to be the last life of Titanfall 2 and whatnot. What other games am I going to be thinking of doing? Well, I mean, there's Destiny 2. It's still an ongoing game, so I probably might be able to do Destiny 2 stuff and whatnot, because Destiny 2 is still pretty fun for me. And there's also RoboQuest. I'm, I remember that um, I made a video on RoboQuest, and I had a lot of fun. Even the Dev Salt, too, which was pretty uh, awesome as well. And... I, they recently added, I think, a new act as well, as well as some new weapons and whatnot. And I was wanting to see what that was going to be about. And honestly, I'm pretty excited for that. There's even Halo Infinite as well. But unfortunately, it's going to be hard to make <laughs> Halo Infinite videos because literally every single game I go into in multiplayer, I pretty much have to play like I'm in HCS. And I'm not sure if that would be enjoyable content for you guys. So it's like, that's probably going to be a no-go, unfortunately. But however, the whole entire situation as a whole, the Titanfall 2 DDoSing, the Titanfall 2 uh, shutdown and everything, I'm kind of just like very confused and in a, in a lot of disbelief that something like this has uh, kind of just happened. And unfortunately, I remember one of the memes that um, I rev I remember one of the memes that I featured on the channel also uh, aged pretty poorly as well, too. Does your dog bite? No, but it can hurt you in other ways. One day Titanfall 2 servers will shut down for, oh my lord. I mean, maybe the Titanfall 2 servers won't, might not shut down. We can't predict the future, but I mean, it's painful to think about. But it's just, I'm so confused as well as this, as well as just in so much disbelief because the first time around when it happened, 
I got in contact with one of the community managers at uh, Respawn, and they uh, then directed the tweet saying, help is coming ASAP. But then shortly after that, and even the long time coming, that didn't really seem to be proven at all, really. The DDoSer um, went MIA for quite a bit of time when Titanfall Day was around, where we all gathered around for May 1st to... Um, uh, play Titanfall 2 and then respawn made Titanfall 2 free to play, which was probably one of the greatest things ever. The dude found a way back into it again and got into like the whole entire back door and it would require them to probably like rewrite the whole entire server thingamabobby and you know, that would probably cause, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of things that they couldn't telegraph and it it really sucked and I was just really confused of to like why no more action was being taken after that and whatnot. And it was really confusing for me too. And I'm just in so much disbelief that, you know, even despite like when they put in a fix, then all of a sudden it happened again. And then it's just like, sorry, nothing, nothing else is coming. It's just, it's so confusing. And it's so disheartening that that happened. And it's just like, I'm just, oh man. But anyways, I do not want to put on too much negative vibes and whatnot. But I am definitely still here on YouTube to tell you guys that I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be here on YouTube, and I'm not going to be going down because Titanfall 2 is uh, currently going down as well. I'm going to be still here getting more content, seeing what works, seeing what does not work, and seeing where ultimately I may end up because, well, I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I'm pretty sure that I do know that it's going to be pretty exciting. But do know that I'm not going anywhere, guys. I'll still be trying to make Titanfall 2 memes and whatnot, or even try not to last because I know that we're probably going to want to do those as uh, Titanfall 2 comes to its uh, official close, as it may turn out. But thank you guys so much for everything, and I will hope to see you guys later. Peace.